Hello, this is Jon Kobo from EMD. I would like to show you how you can use uh, 3D models created in external applications uh, for creating uh, visual data sets for the VTGs and uh, make more uh, detailed models uh, like this one, for instance. Uh, here I have the VTG and if I go into the properties, you can see that this VTG has uh, some uh, visual data sets defined. It has the, the one we see here, the 3D model with a high detail level and uh, a normal one just called visual, which is less detailed. And then they have a generic one and the default one, which is actually pointing at one of the other ones, uh, depending on which one is set for the default inside the VTG catalog. So if I go into the editor, here under the details, you can see that I have these two visual data sets. And if I double click on this one, this is the traditional one, the, the one that we also use in WinPro 3.1. You can see that uh, everything is defined by a bunch of numbers that's added here. And we have the blade data and all that. So one new thing here you can see is that there's a preview button. And here we can actually straight away see how uh, the things we defined over here uh, looks. And this is very useful when designing a VTG. You can change the wind direction and the blade angle and the zoom and so on. So the new thing is that we can now actually use a DAE file for both the rotor and the cabin. Here you can see also one uh, option and the tower. So, but there's a few things you need to, need to know uh, when you're doing that. So I'm just going to show you. Okay. So I'll just create a new data set. A visual one. And I'll call it demo. And then I can import three models here, one for the tower, one for the cabin, and one for the rotor. So if I go here into SketchUp, I have already created this very nice tower here. And uh, of course you can create it the way you want. And uh, this very flexible uh, SketchUp, and there's, um, you can do uh, almost anything here, and uh, there's a, a huge amount of uh, tutorials on how to use SketchUp. And SketchUp Make um, is actually uh, free for non-professional use, and, um, and the, the Pro version is, is not that expensive. And in the, there you can, for instance, um, import uh, DXF files and other things. So what I do here, I now I have this model, and as you can see, I put it right here at the origin of the coordinate system. Normally, WinPro would consider the green axis as north and the red one as east and the blue one as upwards. So now I just yeah make sure that it's placed in the Oregon, as I said, and export it. And then I just place it in an empty folder. I just going to overwrite this one. And if you look at the options, I triangulate all phases and then export texture maps. I don't have any textures here, so but that doesn't make any difference in this case. But if I had, then uh, this is of course important. Then I export and overwrite that one. So I can go back into WinPro and then import that file. Came up over here, I'll just take that one. And now I will try and preview my VTG, which should be quite simple. Yes, there's a tower. And of course, if I didn't place it uh, right uh, at the center of the coordinate system, I could actually move it right here, but I did. Then I go to the cabin. Here again, I want to import a DAE file. I have created this very nice cabin over here. And again, you can do all the crazy things you would like to do here. But the important thing to know is that 
where you should put it in the coordinate system. And again, you can see here where the blue axis comes up, that is where uh, the tower is placed. And um, this is the center where uh, the rotor is defined. So this is the, the, the hub height. So I export this. And I'm just going to overwrite the same one. Because WinPro is not, um, it's, it is importing the file. So it loads actually a copy of that file into this uh, visual data set. So you can delete it from the file system afterwards. I'm going to import that. Then I would expect it to power up here. Yeah, it did. And uh, yeah, I'll just go straight to the Rotan hub. And I have created here this. Uh, you can actually you can import either just a single uh, uh, wing, or you can import the whole thing. So I'm just going to show you both uh, options. So if I'll take this one and export that. Okay, again here I uh, need to. Mm, I don't know what happened there. Um, again, it's important if you only import one wing, then it should be placed like the like this. The center, uh, the red axis, is the center of of uh, the turbine, and uh, and you should be placing the single wing along the green axis like this. Okay, I'm going to export this one. Again, I just overwrite this one. Go into WinPro, and then this pops up. Import the DAE file like that, and then nothing happens. And that is because uh, this uh, wing here is only one meter long. Uh, that's the way I just made it. And then if I tell WinPro that it's uh, only one meter long, it doesn't try to figure it out itself, then it knows how to scale it to the correct dimension. Um, and then of course you can see that it just puts it right here. And that is because um, since this WinPro doesn't know where uh, the cabin st stops, how, f how big it is, it doesn't try to calculate that because that might be a bit tricky to do with a, a random a 3D model that you uh, don't know anything about uh, how it looks. So. Uh, you, you can here you can enter that uh, along with the model you can enter how big the distance is to the cabin front so if I just enter that information then it can move it to the correct position but as, as you can see here it doesn't have a, a spinner um, I need to, to fill out all these uh, numbers here to, to create a spinner or I could have imported the, this model that does include a spinner or I could have included the spinner in this model here so now I'm just for showing you how to do it I'm punching in all these numbers yeah this the rotor tilt angle is um, is not exactly a part of the definition of the nose, but of course the nose is also tilted that way. But so is uh, also the the whole uh, wing uh, model. So this, this it might be a bit tricky to uh, to create the nose exactly the way you you want to. So that's the the same problem as uh, with the old kind of definition of. Uh, a cabin and, and the wings of, and all that so it uh, <coughs> it would often be more convenient I guess to to put them into the model of, of for instance uh, the the cabin but now I'll just um, try to import this uh, other model I had here where, where we also have the nose so then you can see how that goes I need to try and export that one. Replace 
does that. And import here. Okay, so now actually we have um, two spinners. So I'm just gonna remove the one of them, the one we defined here. Well, I almost forgot that um, you can see here it says three uh, blades. That actually means it renders uh, the whole model of the wings three times, and uh, and that is on on top of each other in this case. So it's, it's not really visible. So, but it takes three times uh, as long. Okay, so uh, I think this is about it. We could go out and try to see how it looks. We have now the demo uh, data set. And yes, I want to save it. And I could try to use the demo data set here. And let's go ahead and render. Okay. Yeah, that's about it, I think. I hope that was enough to get you started. And um, thank you for your time.